Hello and welcome to the TomCast. I'm Tom, president and dictator for life of 515comics.com. So, uh, a while back I said that uh, I was running into something... Um, I don't remember the exact words that I used, but I was running into something that I was kind of terrified of. Um, one of the things of like, oh, I hope that this is a thing I never have to deal with <laughs> because I don't know what to do. Uh, and that is regarding the printing of my books. Um, the printer that I work with, Ingram Spark, uh, has always been very good. But back in July, uh, I placed an order for some copies of Volume 3 and Volume 4. Uh, and uh, long story short, the titles have been flagged as not being suitable for print. I've been doing some back and forth with the company to figure out what the issue is. Uh, and initially, they mentioned saturation levels and that I would need to change the weight of paper that I used to print the book. Um, when they brought up saturation levels, that's what really like made my heart go because it's like, oh man, this is the part of print production that like really bored me to tears when I was in college and uh, you know I don't you know it's hundreds and hundreds of pages that I might have to like adjust saturation settings on I don't I don't know how to do that and I don't want to do that and this really sucks and I'm really worried um, but I finally <laughs> finally uh, made contact with the company last week. Um, I've been a little busy. Uh, and started talking to them uh, and emailing back and forth about the issue and what's going on. So to summarize uh, what's going on, um, it's pretty much just because I have black backgrounds. <laughs> that seems to be uh, the concern. I don't remember the exact words that they used, but essentially uh, the the book is not suitable for uh, for larger print runs. Even though I only order a handful of books at a time, I, I kind of get where they're coming from. Um, I'm not sure exactly the reason, uh, other than that they said that recently they've uh, they've changed their printers, and so you know. To me, it sounds more like we don't want to do this uh, at the lowest cost uh, to you because it costs us a lot of ink. I don't know that that's the case. <laughs> um, but the fact that I have black backgrounds was brought up. Um, so it's, I'm in a weird spot. Um, you know, they're willing to print my books, but I would have to switch to a, a, uh, a thicker paper. And the two options that I was given uh, are not ideal. One pretty much doubles the cost of printing, and actually a little more than doubles the cost of printing, and would make it so that uh, the cost of the book uh, for me to get printed is more than the cost uh, for someone to buy it. Um, so that's bad business. I'm not a great business person, but that's bad business if your product costs more to produce. Uh, then uh, you can make back selling it. That's bad. <laughs> uh, the other option only increases uh, the cost by about $3, uh, which isn't terrible, but isn't what I want, uh, because that will make it much harder for me to do the kind of deals that I do, especially at conventions, where I'm trying to encourage people to buy all of the books in a series. Um, you know, if and we're just talking about Volume 4 right now. Volume 4 is the one that got flagged. Um, so I don't know that they will flag Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I'll kind of have to wait and see until I order them. But if they don't flag those, then I don't understand why they're flagging Volume 4. Because all of the books are produced about the same. Uh, using the same programs with the same black backgrounds. So we'll see. I'm kind of in the middle of this. Uh, you know, ultimately... I don't know what's going to happen. And that's what's really frustrating. There's a lot happening in my life right now where I don't ultimately know what's going to happen. Uh, and that's really hard to deal with. Um, but <laughs> the immediate issue, uh, you know, this is still happening. Um, so I'm still interacting with Ingram Spark. And again, they're a good company. They're treating me well. They are answering my questions. I'm just not getting answers that I really want to hear right now. <laughs> um, the The more immediate issue is that I don't currently have any copies of Volume 4. I am sold out. 
uh, which sucks. Uh, and I'm pretty low on Volume 3. I've got a decent amount of Volume 1 and 2 to kind of ride out the rest of the season, the rest of the year, um, but sooner or later I'm going to need those too. Uh, and honestly, I think I should probably go ahead and just put in an order for some of them to see if they'll even get printed or if they're going to get flagged the same way. Um, you know, the problem is is that I've got shows coming up, uh, and I don't, I don't have a lot of books to take. And that's what I like to sell the most, is books. <sighs> but I can lean on Volume 1 and 2, and I can produce some more things like the mask pins and more shirts and other things related to the comic. Um, uh, so that I won't feel like I'm just spinning my wheels uh, going to a show where, hey, cool, I know you came last year and you already bought these books and I don't have, I actually have fewer books than I did last year. I feel a little silly uh, going to shows with, with less of the main thrust of what I'm doing at shows, which is selling books. But it's just kind of the situation I find myself in. <laughs> um, as for what we're going to do, like, I don't know, speculating like, what am I going to do if I cannot get these books printed at the current rate with Ingram Spark? I might have to look at other options. I'm not really willing to raise the prices of the books, uh, you know, like to the customer. First of all, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I feel like they're already fairly expensive books. I mean, 20 bucks for a graphic novel is not outlandish, um, but I really don't want to do more than that. Um, you know, and especially just sort of coupled with the fact that it's independent, you know, price tag is very important, especially at conventions. If it's too expensive, then people are not going to be interested in it because they already might not be that interested in it anyway, since they've never heard of it before. Uh, so it's kind of got to be a deal. So I might have to look into either switching printers or maybe moving away from the print to order uh, market. Um, I really like print to order because it's like, oh hey, I'm low on books. You know what? If I had a dozen more books, I'd be okay. I just order a dozen books, and that's that. Um, but I might have to look into uh, into larger quantity printing, which is more upfront cost, but allows me to keep the individual cost down. So, anyway, that's what I'm thinking about. That's what's happening. Um, and, uh, and yeah, uh, so it's, it's not as scary as I thought it was going to be. And I, I think the main lesson from this for me is just that, you know, it's important to uh, actually do something. Taking that first step, whatever it is, and, and in this case for me, it's calling customer service. <laughs> calling someone and maybe hearing bad news. I still feel better now that I've got the conversation going, even though it's not going in a way that I really want, um, it's, I still feel a lot better having taken that first step, having reached out, having made that phone call, even though it was uncomfortable, um, and made my complaint and talked to them about what's going on. Um, I do feel a lot better for it. And that's a lesson that I think a lot of people, including me, have to relearn over and over and over again. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Thanks so much for watching, and you guys, keep your stick on the ice.